Welcome, welcome to another epic edition of Phaser World. This week we're diving into issue 219, and trust me, it's jam-packed. We're celebrating the exciting release of Phaser version 4 Release Candidate 2, showcasing two fantastic new games, exploring three in-depth tutorials, and checking in on the Phaser Studio team with another round of developer logs. And of course, we've got the latest from Ben down in the Pixel Mines. So grab your snacks, settle in, and let's get rolling. Phaser version 4 Release Candidate 2 is officially here, and this version is smoother and shinier than ever, all thanks to your incredible feedback. Seriously, your bug reports were like treasure maps, leading us straight to those sneaky glitches. We've tackled every issue reported, and we believe this could finally be the build, but we're not calling it yet. Download it, test it, and let us know if it's ready for the big leagues. Now onto the Phaser Showcase. We have two games this week. First up, let's talk about Six Sided Streets, a charming strategic town building game inspired by tabletop hex maps. Your goal is to create a perfect little town using stylish tri-hex tiles that feature parks, buildings, and roads. Every move counts, so you'll need to plan carefully. Check out Six Sided Streets. It's an interesting little game if you've got five minutes to spare. Next, we're diving into F-Guard Legends, a compelling blend of blockchain, auto battlers, and collectible card games. Perfect for gamers who love deep strategy and truly digital ownership. Collect and upgrade your cards, build your strategy, and dominate your opponents. Just remember, someone out there probably upgraded their cards just a little bit more than you did, so watch your back. If you're interested in all that fancy smiths, go check it out. Now, time to see what tutorials have been cooking up. Phaser tile-based platformer handling slopes. Ever struggled with your game character awkwardly getting stuck on slopes? We've all been there. Thankfully, this tutorial teaches you exactly how to create smooth slope mechanics in Phaser using tiled map editor. No arcade physics required. Your character will finally glide over slopes gracefully, just like they're supposed to. Go check this one out as it could be a good trick to have up your sleeve. Next, how to create a stage in Phaser.js. Neosim returns to help you build flawless, action-packed game stages in Phase.js. This detailed guide emphasizes position, showcasing exactly how to use group and static group methods correctly. Wave goodbye to endless falling glitches. Your players and your sanity will thank you. Go and check out the full tutorial in the description below. And lastly, for the tutorials, basic enemy in Phase.js. Every great game needs an engaging enemy, right? In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create basic enemies that move, attack, take damage, and even enjoy a bit of temporary invincibility. Perfect for developers looking to add some spice and challenge to their games. After all, what a victory without a worthy opponent. This tutorial is great if you're just starting out with Phaser. Go check it out. Now, 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 onto our chunky devlog. It's been a while, but here we go. Rich, our fearless leader, returns, and coffee has officially replaced sleep in his diet. He mentions it's been a wild ride to get in Phaser 4 ready, with endless meetings, rigorous testing, updates, templates, and documentation. But despite the madness, he's thrilled about what's next. Do Rich a favor, guys. Download RC2, give it a spin, and help him finally catch some rest. Short and sweet from Rich, just how we like it. Now, let's see what Arian has to say. Arian had an epic week integrating Claude Desktop AI into Phaser Editor. Yep, that's right. Phaser Editor now has AI assistance to create game scenes automatically. Need a Mario-inspired level at lightning speed? Claude's got you covered. Arian even got Claude organizing scenes into layers and renaming objects in Spanish. Who knew AI could handle tedious tasks this well? Just remember to keep Claude happy. We wouldn't want him getting upset. And finally, everyone's favorite deep dive with Ben, who is back to discuss Phaser 4's groundbreaking new rendering engine. Phaser 3 served us well, but it had its challenges, particularly juggling WebGL states. Phaser 4 completely revolutionizes this with a smoother, faster, and more predictable rendering system. Ben highlights new features like Sprite GPU layer for ultra-efficient background rendering, capture frame for versatile scene captures, and filters, replacing the old effects and masks. This is only part one, so there's even more pixel magic coming next time. That's a wrap on Phaser Board issue 219. Make sure to check out Phaser 4 RC2, show some love to our amazing dev community, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more Phaser awesomeness. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.